Hi, my name is Nina Hachigian, and the name of my book is Debating China, the U.S.-China Relationship in Ten Conversations. I've intended the book to be a one-stop shop for somebody who really wants a grasp of the U.S.-China relationship. And what I did in the book was to pair an American and a Chinese expert in different topics and have them converse back and forth with each other um, about, about that topic. I work at the Center for American Progress and I'm, a, and I'm a senior fellow there, so I get a chance to interact with Chinese counterparts pretty regularly. We in, engage in these what are called track two dialogues where you have academics and think tank people on both sides, on the Chinese side and the American side, discussing various issues. And, and they're very rich conversations and interesting. But that is uh, not an opportunity that many Americans get. And so the idea of the book is to have that kind of a dialogue in written form that uh, can be accessed by, by anybody. These 10 chapters represent sort of the key issues in the relationship, human rights, trade, um, the, the role of the US and China in global affairs, climate and economics and uh, regional security and Taiwan, so all the kind of hot button issues. I think that Americans aren't uh, exposed on a regular basis, unless they work at a think tank like I do, to Chinese opinions on a variety of subjects. And oh, I mean, one of the interesting um, chapters was on economics where um, you know, we're used to hearing our routine criticisms of the, of the Chinese economy. Um, they're you know, not playing by the rules and manipulating their currency and not allowing in um, U.S. exports and not um, protecting intellectual property and, and, and that list. Um, but what was interesting is to hear the Chinese perspective on the U.S. economy, which um, Yao Yang from Beijing University provided, and to hear their criticisms of our economic model that it um, produces haves and have-nots and a winner-take-all kind of society is how, is how he described it. So hearing their critiques of our system um, and our decisions is it's interesting. Some topics were definitely more contentious than others. Um, on some topics, there was a lot of fundamental agreement about the importance of the issue and what we need to do about it on climate, for example. Um, on, on other issues like human rights, just we started in such different places that even the questions that we're trying to answer might be contested in and of themselves. I think the book is a pretty clear demonstration of how broad and complex our relationship is with China and also how consequential. I think it really shows how intertwined we are and how interdependent we are, but how that doesn't necessarily make it an easy or a comfortable relationship.